Uh, you know, the teams are going to jump out on you. Um, you know, you got to give credit and respect when it's due. You know, they came out really, uh, you know, attacking our, our defense and our switching. Um, you know, got up to a 10-1 lead and really never looked back after that. They played with a sense of purpose, um, very comfortable. Um, and, you know, it, it, just the tale of the, the way the, the rhythm of the game goes at times. And you got to play through it. We cut it to five. I think we're like two minutes left to go or six. We're like 2.30 left to go. And then they get it back up to 18. Then we come out of halftime, and it's just back and forth at that point. They just, you know, just kept it going. Then we went into zone, and they started attacking the zone. And then, you know, Ricky just started getting downhill and just really started picking apart our defense. So, you know, it starts on the outset, especially with me setting the tone. You know, I don't think I shot one free throw tonight. That's just a telltale sign of just how aggressive I I am not, at the end, you know, in the game, um, you know, getting downhill and, and really just setting a precedent of slowing the game down and, and really getting to my spots. Um, you know, so a lot of it, a lot of the accountability falls on me and really just the game plan of, of guarding Ricky and not, um, you know, being in the right spots. That's a really good offense over there, but what, what issues are you seeing with the defensive communication and how do you clean that up with other potent offenses on, on no, the way? I, I just think that we, you know, I think we respect the Aaron Baines a little bit too much from the three-point line. I know he's shooting a high clip from the, you know, from the uh, three-point line, but that's one of the guys you got to let, you got to let him beat us. And, um, you know, us as a group, we just got to make that decision, follow on the game plan, obviously, but just make adjustments. Um, you know, some backdoor cuts. I got beat on some backdoor cuts. You know, they were just, you know, pinpoint passes and, and really just playing off movement tonight. They were doing really well. So, like I said, you just got to give them credit and respect. You know, they, they really just, you know, on back screens, really just tested our communication and it just wasn't there at the certain level we needed to be. This isn't, I guess, the first time, though, where in the early onset of a game, you guys have kind of dug a hole mainly on the defensive end. I mean, have you noticed a similarity or a trend in those, a worrying trend in falling behind early? I mean, it's, it's, a, it's early in the season, man. Um, I don't think there's it's any time to really complicate or overcomplicate what a trend is when we're still developing as a team, you know, especially when we've had some good games where we start out very well on defensive end and other games where we haven't. So, um, you know, just got to find that consistency, and that's part of the maturity of a, of a developing team. You've been playing with a small lineup, and it's been very productive offensively. But is it harder on the defensive end when you're when you're playing small? It's basketball. Um, you know, you just got to play with a sense of purpose, physicality, and uh, you know, just be in the right spots. I, I think that we can give up some tough twos or some tough contested shots at the rim. But uh, you know, whether we're in a small lineup or a big lineup out there, we just got to make the right decisions on that end and, and be there for one another. It's another talented team coming up in a couple of days. What, what's the number one thing that you feel as a team you'd like to clean up heading into that one against the Jazz? Just hit first mentality. You know, we came out, got hit in the mouth pretty early in the game, and you know, when you when you have that at, at a very, you know, um, you know, it's a lot more crowded than I've been in Phoenix the last few years. So it was really good to see, you know, kind of the fans getting into it as well, and they were feeding off their energy, and then they got off to that, you know, that big lead, and like I said, they never looked back. So we go into Utah, even more hostile environment, and um, you know, you just look forward to those type of challenges, but. For me personally, just really starting out, getting to the rim and, and being aggressive and getting in the paint and then making some extra opportunities for my teammates. In some ways, is this an aberration? Because Kenny said this is the first team that's really played five out with five guys who could hit from three. Uh, were they just a little bit different kind of animal for you guys to tackle? Who, Phoenix? Phoenix, yeah. I mean, they were going to play aggressive regardless. I, I think that, you know, Baines being in the five, really testing our bigs. Um, but Frank coming in, I think in the second half, we were taking advantage of the overtop, uh, you know, alley-oops to DJ and him being in the right spots, which, you know, in the first half, I, I think getting downhill, you know, Baines was clogging up the paint or Frank was there or Kelly was getting his hands on a few basketballs. Um, you know, they were just long in the paint, really being in, you know, forcing out to our shooters, getting tough contests. And like I said, you just give credit to the Phoenix Suns tonight, just playing very well.